As Spitz is all about logic and natural moves, somebody connected me to Sandra, as Sandra, being a molecular biologist, PhD holder, and uh, Olympic fencer uh, uh, from Argentina, 16th on the world rank list, she knows all about posture and she knows all about position. So the moment I got in touch with Sandra, who also started to take a high-level Pilates personal trainer exam in the time that it was still several years studying yeah she said to me Jose this is perfect yeah and she start to in her science language and with my logic simple explanation started to make the links that made us to now travel all over the world yeah we we are in 21 countries we are certified alternative medicine at the moment and we are going to take it with the epigenetic yeah so the circumstances of the gene a junkie mother gets a junkie baby but if we change the mother and let her be clear of drugs, her next baby will be a healthy, drug-free baby. So a twisted body has a chemistry. DNA is chemistry. All our body functions are chemistry. If we drink alcohol, we get behavior problems. So if we have a twisted body, we get behavior problems. Now, children born cesarean, epidural, uh, forceps, they don't come out in the natural left, right, up and down move, yeah, but they are twisted. So what we do, we put them straight. Straightforward behavior is a straightforward child. The school psychologists now, yeah, the Swiss International School, the Repton International School, they send me now their children via the school psychologist, as they see that the school psychologist, like other doctors claiming now, it is so easy to operate or to work with straightforward material because then it is according the book yeah and we can do what we studied I'm Sandra Giancola I have a PhD in molecular biology um, I um, make a sport for a long time in the level of Olympic Games and I have the diploma of uh, personal training too um, I know pizza uh, because uh, three years uh, ago I know uh, Jose, the founder of uh, Method Pits, and uh, when she talked uh, about uh, this method, very quickly I understand that it's a simple and logic method. Um, and uh, to, uh, to, to try to understand and relationship with the research program, I decided to begin uh, with, uh, with the Metos Pits and I work in this moment in France with a clinic and uh, um, I decided to uh, work with the people with different problems, the simple problem like the back, pa back pain for example, until the people that they have cancer, stroke, uh, cranial traumas. And uh, since this uh, problem I began to understand that uh, how function Pits um, for me, exist three uh, hypotheses. One of these that the spits uh, work in the nervous system, specific with the plasticity of the nervous system. When we talk about the nervous system, plasticity is a regeneration of uh, of these uh, methods. Uh, what happened when uh, somebody have an accident, uh, for example the people that they have an accident and they broke the cervical, uh, normally the people they can walk and uh, after several times that we make peaks the people began to, uh, to feel the, the sensation, heat, uh, uh, cold uh, and began to slowly to move uh, different parts of their body. When we talk the nervous system, we talk the plasticity. Plasticity is the regeneration of them. Um, for example, when the people was an accident and they break uh, the different vertebra in the cervical, normally the people they can move and they don't feel the, the, their body. And several times, for example, in one year that we was working with the people like this, these people began to move her body and began to restructurate. The meaning is restructuration of the nervous system. The second hypothesis is the epigenetic. What is the epigenetic? The epigenetic 
is, um, is uh, the study that they work specific for the um, editable change in the gene expression. When we talk about, about the, the, the people, the life of the people, we say, well, we have the genetic uh, information. We say the 50% of the mother, 50% of the father. But it's not only the information that we receive. The most important that we have the relationship with our environment. And why a relationship epigenetic with pits? Because um, when the baby, for example, born, um, uh, sometimes the baby is stressed and uh, they, they, they are very hyperactivity. And we try to understand why the hyperactivity coming. And when we talk with the mother, we know that the mother sometimes they have a problem uh, during the pregnancy. She's very stressed. She has the emotional problem and we relationship this problem mother to the child the stress is not transmitted by the genetic but yes with the epigenetic because we produce this hormone and this hormone they can change the expression of the gene for this reason when we t when we work with the child we can change this situation the, the child is totally quiet and uh, they can live the normal life and we, we finish with the problem with the stress for this. For this reason, I relationship epigenetic with, uh, with uh, pits. When somebody has a pain, for example, the neck pain or the back pain, we say it's very easy for us to resolve because the meaning is that the body is not balanced. When the body is not balanced, they began to try to, to restructure this unbalanced situation with the other mobility of their body. For example, somebody has the pain in her back. In her back, perhaps, is not the origin of the problem. Perhaps the origin of the problem is the problem in the row. Which, uh, when we want to balance the body and we want that the people continue to walk without problem, is the hip go in this direction, the jaw go in this direction. And the problem is not the real origin of the back, pro the back pain. The origin of the problem is in the jaw. If we want to, to arrive to have the health, it's important to com combination. The balance of the body with pits, the nutrition and the activity, physical activity.